We have breaking news out of Indiana tonight. The state's legislature just passed new legislation banning abortion, making them the very first state legislature to do so since Roe v. Wade was overturned. Indiana's Republican governor has not said whether he will sign it. It comes after voters in red in the red state of Kansas created a political earthquake, turning out in record numbers to vote against an anti-abortion amendment to the state's constitution. Voters rejected extreme conservative views against abortion by an 18-point margin. And that's in a state where Donald Trump defeated Joe Biden by 15 points. But Kansas isn't the only state where voters are pretty tired of a Republican agenda with no respect for women or bodily autonomy. And in North Carolina, Democratic U.S. Senate candidate Sherry Beasley said she is seeing so many women and people who are afraid and disappointed by the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Sherry Beasley is running against Republican Congressman Ted Budd for North Carolina's open Senate seat. Ted Budd supports a total ban on abortion with absolutely no exceptions for rape, incest, or risk to a woman's health. In a recent poll, Ted Budd is only leading Sherry Beasley by three points as he pushes this anti-abortion agenda. Joining us now, Sherry Beasley, former Chief Justice of the North Carolina Supreme Court. She is now a Democratic candidate for Senate in North Carolina. So thank you for being here today. It's great to see you. Great to be here. Sherry, what is your reaction to what you saw in Kansas this week with record turnout and an 18-point win for the pro-choice side? You know, Zerlina, I think what it means is that uh, politicians are out of step with the sentiment of people across this country and the majority of people here in North Carolina. You know, I've been a judge for uh, over 20 years and the chief justice of the Supreme Court. And I know that Roe uh, has been a protected constitutional freedom uh, for nearly 50 years, uh, and that freedom existed without government interference. And people in North Carolina are incensed by the court's decision. Uh, contrarily, my opponent, Congressman Ted Budd, is, as you mentioned, uh, in favor of an absolute ban, uh, even in the instance of rape, incest, or risk to a mother's health. And people here in North Carolina want to know that the, the next United States Senator is going to fight hard to protect this fundamental freedom. One of the things that we learned this week is that in a bright red state, you know, the data that says a majority of the American public supports choice actually pans out um, because even in the red state of Kansas, the pro-choice side won, as I said. North Carolina, it's way more purple than Kansas. What are the voters of North Carolina telling you as you travel around the state and campaign for the Senate? Well, the majority of North Carolinians do uh, support this fundamental freedom uh, for uh, people to make their own decisions about abortion. And we have certainly seen uh, the risk to women's health where medical professionals are afraid to render treatment. Uh, and people here in North Carolina are incensed. They are angry. They are fearful. I spoke with a grandfather just this evening who is very fearful for his granddaughters and their health. And so it is important, uh, as so many people here in North Carolina talk about this dire sense of urgency around this election, because they know that the next senator from North Carolina must absolutely fight to protect uh, this fundamental freedom. I'm prepared to do that. I'm fully committed to doing so. I have always, as a part of my service as a judge, uh, upheld the Constitution and fought hard to protect the rule of law. And my opponent, unfortunately, has done the converse. Who are you hearing from? One of the things that I think a lot about is, you know, what kind of message the Democrats can take to voter, all voters in a moment like this one. And we started the show talking about the economy. Do you think that an economic message that's related to choice could be effective in talking to independents, Republicans, anybody along the political spectrum in North Carolina? You know, as I travel across this big state, and it is a large state, we're the ninth largest in the nation with 100 counties. And while people certainly want to know that uh, we're going to work hard to lower costs, people are certainly feeling the pain at the pump and want to know that the next senator is going to fight hard to lower prescription drug costs. They also want to know that the next senator is going to fight hard to uh, protect our fundamental freedom. And my opponent, Congressman Ted Budd, has been in Congress 
uh, for three terms. And he has done the absolute off opposite. Every single time he's had an opportunity to vote in the interest of the people here in North Carolina, he has not done so. He has voted against uh, lowering prescription drug costs. He voted against the legislation that would protect women's right to contraception. Uh, he has voted against the CHIPS Act. He turned his back on our veterans. And he absolutely has not supported people here in the state. And, and by the way, if people want to know more about my candidacy and the great work that we're doing here in the state uh, to fight for the people of North Carolina, please uh, go to SherryBeasley.com for more information.